Newton. Isaac Newton was born to a poor farming family in the UK. When Newton was three years old, his mother remarried a man named Pastor Smith. Oh, son. Now we have to live apart. After his mom left, Newton didn't smile or talk much. Newton always stayed in his room alone and spent his time thinking a lot. When he was six years old, he went to school to learn math, reading, and writing. Newton went straight up into the attic when he came home. He enjoyed spending time creating and building new things. One day, Newton saw that a shadow was moving. The shadow belonged to a stick, which he had placed vertically on the floor. The shadow is moving as the sun moves. Newton made a hole in the middle of the floor and placed a stick upright in that spot. Then he drew marks on the floor to represent the sundial. Newton's sundial was so accurate that his neighbors were shocked. Amazing! How could a little child invent such a sundial? Newton lived in Clark's boarding house, and he attended King's School of Grand Island. Mr. Clark had a daughter named Story. Newton and Story were of the same age. You do not have a table in your room, right? I'll make you one. Newton made a perfect desk for Story, and everyone was surprised. Ah, uh, you are really talented. Clark's family treated Newton as a real family member. Newton made a mill wheel and put it inside the squirrel's cage. The squirrel was Story's own pet. The squirrel ran over the wheels. Oh. The wheel is spinning by itself. Newton decided to make a windmill. He connected two tiny gears, so as the squirrel rotated the mill wheel, the windmill did so also. This squirrel windmill became popular. Absolutely unbelievable! He will be a great inventor in the future. At that time, most people used an hourglass to tell time. Newton realized that if the bowl on the top were filled with sand, the sand wouldn't go down anymore. I think a water clock would be more accurate. I will make one. Many people began to expect great things from him. Newton finished making the water clock. I will check the time later when I come back from the church. Finally, he came back from church. He headed directly for his room to check the water clock. Wow! Yes, I made it. It's successful. Many people visited Mr. Clark's place to see the squirrel windmill and the water clock. The principal of the King School praised Newton for his inventions. Newton, it's amazing. Newton's work on the squirrel windmill and the water clock was published in a magazine. Newton had to quit school when he started living with his mom again. The principal felt sad when he heard that Newton was quitting school. Newton, you should study hard wherever you are. You could become a great inventor. Whenever Newton worked at the farm, he brought his books. I will study hard even if I don't go to school. Son, why don't you return to school to resume your studies? Newton, at the age of eighteen started studying again at King's School. Uh, welcome back to Clark's family.
Newton learned many new facts while he studied science. Finally, Newton graduated as a top student from King's School. The principal wrote a recommendation letter for Newton. He was able to enter the University of Cambridge on a scholarship. Newton started formulating many questions as he learned new things in the university. Wow! I want to learn about light! When Newton was 22 years old, he became interested in astronomy. At that time, it was believed that whole celestial bodies orbited around the Earth. However, the Polish scientist Copernicus said that the Earth, together with other stars, orbited the Sun. People criticized Copernicus's theories, but Newton did not. I think Copernicus is right. I will have to perform an experiment to prove his theories. At that time, a plague started to spread throughout England. This disease came from mice. It gave people headaches, burned their skin, and finally caused their demise. Therefore, all schools and churches had to shut their doors. Newton had to go back to his hometown. As soon as he arrived at his home, he continued his light experiment. By putting a large magnifying glass to the sun's light, Newton was able to focus the sun's rays. When Newton let light pass a triangular prism, it made seven different colors. So, the light was divided into seven different colors. It's amazing! This experiment was the foundation of spectroscopy today. Newton was walking while thinking about gravity. What is the reason why every object fall down? While Newton was thinking about it, an apple fell down right in front of him. Yes, I think I know now. All objects have the power to pull together. Newton eventually realized what was happening and put his thoughts down on a paper called The Law of Universal Gravitation. Newton was selected as a special scientist at a university, and he started making a telescope with other scientists. This telescope was constructed by installing reflectors in the cylinder to reflect the light, which helped magnify objects under the light. This invention allowed much progress to be made in the field of astronomy. Good work, guys. We have finally made it. One day, the astronomer Edmund met Newton. Is it possible to calculate the distance of stars orbiting the sun? Absolutely. I already have calculated it a long time ago. You are really amazing. Meanwhile, Newton decided to write a book based on the data of his studies. In 1684, the Principia, which contains the proof of Law of Universal Gravitation, was published. In 1689, Newton was elected as a congressman. I don't like being in front of people. Newton didn't make any speeches and returned back to Cambridge to write an essay on his studies. He wrote an essay that summarized 1,000 kinds of his experiments. One Sunday morning, after returning home from church, Newton saw that his lab had turned into ashes. Newton forgot to blow out the candle in his lab. No! My papers! What am I going to do? Oh my God! The papers are my life! 
Newton suffered from a mental illness for two years after the shock. He was able to live a normal life only when he became 52. Newton was chosen as the chairman of the Royal Society for the Queen of England. By 1710, he became a knight. It was the first time ever that this glory and honor had been given to a scholar. Newton was an old man now. Newton was weakened by pneumonia and a stroke. One day, his followers came over, and Newton said to them, What I did until now were just easy things. There are still many things to be done. You guys will have to do it instead of me. These words were his last words before he died. Newton passed away when he was 85. He was buried in Westminster Abbey, one of the most honorable burial places in Britain. Great observation, persistence in experiments, and his keen insight made Newton a great scientist. His experiments are still being used today.